Stacy Opara Vero, and uh, I'm an artist. And today I'll be sharing a poem that I've written, named after my grandmother, Lady. My mother told me how it was back then. Her stories always started with back in my days. When the naira was equal to a pound and jobs waited to ease you into adulting as you graduated. She spoke of her mother, lady, she was called. She was quite the lady. They wore stockings that matched their parasols and men's shoes stood higher than their egos. Ladies could be ladies and men wore their hearts on their sleeves to tease out smiles for days. Days of short, short skirts and wrappers and waist beads winking at boys that dared not touch. Days where phones were a dream and girls gathered at a stream to dance and chit chat. The days our mothers were honored, their opinions counted and the old were the Google we ran to knowledge for. Tales by moonlight were a treat and tiny powdered bodies dozed off as tortoise and lion found themselves in the same pot of soup. Days when relationships were built on trust and kindness, not on likes and DM hopping. Now gadgets become objects of affection and friends become, well, objects. Objectification becomes the norm and God forbid you complain. Hey, my mother told me of long treks from village to village to see old friends, but Uber still isn't enough to make it down for a friend in need. Indeed. Some days weigh heavy on my heart like a ton of bricks. Bricks I pick and build bridges that insist on being torn down. My mother's mother was a lady. My mother spoke fondly of. But I feel the ache in her bones as she told me how she lost her so young. So my mother had to be a mother when she was still figuring out a tampon from a towel. She wasn't ready. I wish I could build from my bones a bridge from myself to her mother so she might spend a little more time being a little girl again. I wish I was patient. The lessons I learned at my mother's knee, I struggle to unlearn because now I know better. Our mother's back carried pains no words can speak of. They shrunk their divinity to swallow peels of patriarchy that threatened to choke their daughters now. They say this is the way of our mother's tradition, they call it as they wrap misogyny with a tight little bow at the feet of the men whose fragile ego they tended. My mother is a strong woman. I watch the strength no woman ever has to display. Woman, you're a woman, where did it go wrong? He calls you beautiful and you place your worth in his soiled hands. You were beautiful before he met you and you're beautiful even after he left you. We fail our girls every time a mother tells her child to manage, persevere, tolerate, injustice to her being. Her divinity in the name of a validation by the one sworn to protect and respect her. We tear at the seams of ourself. We must return to ourself. You were completing the fabric of your mother's womb. You, you were the rain that nourishes the earth. You are the ocean the sky cannot contain. Did you forget who you are? Let me help you retrace your steps. Stone by stone, let me mold you with these hands that make nations. The pathway that brings you back to yourself. Retrace the trajectories of mothers of mothers that were deities. You are the earth that nestles a seed within, the rain that nourishes deep beneath, the sun that brings ashes the first leaf. You hold civilization within the cracks of your hands. You carry the weight of the world on that fragile back, yet you soon are the sight of a puppy. 
Do you remember when you were the light, the rainbow needed to shine, the salt, the banga soup needed to wow, the cradle that rocked humanity? How did you forget, woman? Yes, we can build bridges back to the time of my mother's mother's mother and generations before that. We can retrace our steps and find ourselves. We can love so hard on our beings that the only way another can exist in our space is if they revere the divinity that is within us. We, after all, teach others how to treat us by how we treat ourselves. Are you loving you enough? You would know that you are more than beautiful. You are divine. You are the oracle. You taught the word intelligent, intelligence. You made an oasis in a desert called life, and you did it in sky-high hills. They lied when they said you were not complete. That all you wear was equal to the ring on your finger or the product of your womb. Do you not see the tragedy convincing an oracle it's a slave? Slave to despicable crimes against body and spirit. We must find what was lost. Draw from the source within you. Uproot the lies that have shaped you. And find the love that is you. My mother's mother was a lady. And her name was Lady. She was loved. And she was love. My mother is the love I will show my daughter. My daughter will never internalize seeing hate and anger used as a tool to show love. What is that? Oh, not under my roof. Oh. She will tell her daughter her mother was a lady. And she loved herself so fully it spilled out like sunshine. And her father was lucky he had the honor to bask in it. She will tell her daughter of love because she will blossom within it. She will know who she is. She will need no validation from any being outside of herself. So she will tell tales of a strong woman with a back of steel and a heart of silk. A woman that believed not all men cheat. And yes, you can have it all. My mother's mother loved my mother like a mother loves me. And I will understand how a human can pour their being selflessly into loving another when I become a mother. Thank you. <laughs>